So here we have the Ford Focus Automatic on a 62 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of it from there. As we approach the back of the car you'll see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space as well along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the bottom, we have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauge. Above that, you can see the total miles for this car, which are 55,728. The information displayed above that can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information. Along the top, you can see the gear the car is currently in. We're in park at the moment. We have reverse, neutral drive and sport all available along the top as well. If we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons just here change the information displayed in that central section. We have stereo and phone controls on the right hand side and then cruise control and speed limiter underneath the left hand side there. Over in the center, we have the main stereo screen for the car. Uh, so this is where you can actually access things like the radio. And up there you'll see that we have FM, uh, DAB, uh, and also AM radio available to us as well. We have a CD player, uh, should you want to listen to your own music. This car also has auxiliary input as well. Uh, and on top of that, you can also plug in a device uh, via USB. So plenty of ways to listen to your music in this car. We have the main volume for the stereo just there. Uh, deadlocks, so you can lock the car doors from the outside and unlock them again. Working our way down, we have the dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You'll be able to increase and decrease the fan speed from up here. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed. When you're happy with those settings, this button turns your air conditioning is on at the moment, so it turns it off in this case, or back on again. All hit auto. In doing so, the car will now take control of the fan speed and the direction of the air to maintain the temperatures you've asked for. Beneath that, with a heated rear and front screen, we then have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. On the side of that, you can see the plus and minus button. That's so that you can change gear manually uh, should you wish to on this automatic gearbox. We have a 12 volt charging socket in, and then inside the rear or the central armrest, we have auxiliary and USB inputs that I mentioned previously. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.